We're bringing standards back to the game. We're not here to hype up the hottest rappers. We represent good music. If you're good, you're good. If you're whack, you're whack. If you want the real, this is where it's at. Welcome to Real Rap. It's the real. Hip hop. Hip hop. The real. Hip hop. Hip hop. Gin and drugs. Hell nah. You thought it was gonna be like gin and juice. I really hated this song. Really? Yes. I thought it was cool. I didn't like the hook. I did not like it. I, I feel like you should have used problem part for the hook though. <coughs> uh the first verse is okay. He said, uh, balling so fucking hard. I need a letterman. Letterman uh, check. Uh but I, I like that part. Um I like problem verse. The whole uh, Kelly flow, I always, always like that. Didn't have a rubber, so she got to feel, feel the skin. I don't know. I don't know about that. that yeah. Might be, that's, that's a little risky right there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we can't do that in 2018. <laughs> Say married to the money, that the rice hit him. I'm glad, I'm glad it ended after his verse. <laughs> I'm just glad. I'm just glad. It I like the problem, though. I like, I like, I like the problem. Uh, 420 freestyle. It was alright. It was cool. It was cool. It started out good, but it fizzled out. <laughs> yeah. As it kept going. Exactly. You're right. It started off. I was like, okay, this is nice. But it was. Just... I like the beat. Mm-hmm. It was no hook, which you kind of qualified for that. Yeah. You, do, then, you can't kind of give that to him. Fizzled out. Um, <clears throat> he, when he came in, he sounded like too short to me for some reason. It's another word. It's, it's a lot of these words. Okay. Like the dudes. The dudes. Okay. And if you ever ask a question, niggas, we don't know. And if a nigga won't beef, we fillet him and chop him. Okay, that's not that's beef fillet. Yeah, chop him. That one straight. I like that. One. And then we don't we don't ever ask questions like no snitching. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, we got another of them dudes. Okay. Uh, got my niggas out the streets. You can say I'm a prophet. I got money in the bank that can't fit in a wallet. Yeah, that's nice. That was nice. That's nice. Uh, be okay? I like this one. Yeah. Do the best that I can, no matter what, I can't make it right. When you said you felt single, I remember like it was yesterday. How the fuck you hold me down when you ain't take my last name? The track was dope. The song was real. Real song. I thought he was off beat when it first started off, though. When the first verse mm -hmm. first started off. I think he was meant to kind of be like that. He like, was spitting real shit though. Yeah, he was. It was I a real Like the hook. For like the second <clears> verse <throat> is about Amber. Yup. It she, definitely was about her. She didn't take his last name, bro. Damn! Even Beyonce took Jay-Z last name. You know he loved her, boy. For real though. She did not take his last name, bro. I was like, wow. Even if you don't take it at like well, as you're, you know, you're famous, you don't take like that, but you yeah, just, come on. Let's still have it. That is crazy. Uh, I like the bridge. Uh, <coughs> the third verse was about his sister who passed away. Mm -hmm. um, you can tell, like, it, it was killing him, like, to do that. And th it kills me that he can do great songs, just not consistent, mm -hmm. man. This was a great song. It was, it was, it was a lot of depth in it. I mean, depth, definitely mm -hmm. depth. But I mean, his sister passed away. That, that was deep. He was talking about the whole him and Amber situation. That was mm -hmm. deep. He's just so inconsistent, man. Man, that just killed me. Um, it's on you. Mm -hmm. I did like it. <laughs> I thought it was cool. <clears throat> I like the refrain. He said, uh, "If you made it for the top, then you gonna make it to the top." Like if you made for the top, you're gonna make it to the top. If you built like this, you gonna you gonna eventually get there. Uh lots of doors will get closed, but they ain't gonna lock. So you're gonna have a lot of things gonna happen, you're gonna plan stuff out, people gonna drop out or whatever you got planned when it first started, but you gotta keep going. Cause you know, you can't really depend on everybody to be there when you when you need them. True. Like if you set up a date for somebody to be there. Yeah. And then they fly out somewhere, yeah. they go they go do something. So they second <coughs> destination. So I mean you just gotta you gotta just, 
Yeah. Be ready for that. <laughs> then he said, uh, invest in yourself like you do them chains. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that's my man's guy, man. He, man, this is just so crazy to me. He's so off and on. I like the hook, and the, but the second verse was like, reach for the stars. I liked it. Yeah. Bone was in it. Woo! They, they still got it. We finally got them, bro. I've been calling for them the last time. Yeah, you have. You have. <laughs> they still got it. I, I liked it. The twinkle twinkle kind of threw me off, though. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know what that, what that was going with that, but the twinkle twinkle kind of threw me off. I like the hook. I like that he got all of Bone on there. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to get every single person from Bone on there. They can barely get all of them, man, at one point. <laughs> so that, I, thought, I thought that was crazy. Um, I had to listen to it twice before I could analyze it because I was just so geeked that he had Bone on there. And uh, Bone and Wiz, this is like a perfect combination because, mm -hmm. you know, they both smoke weed. Um, I like Wiz verse. I like Lazy's verse. I like Crazy's verse. I like Busy verse the most. Um, he said, the future of this music starts to worry me. Facts. That's all y'all. All y'all. All, all <coughs> y'all. <laughs> Flesh verse is okay. I like Wish verse. Uh, I didn't like the Twinkle Twinkle on the outro. Uh, I like the song, but Wish, they did another type of song. Like, I wish mm -hmm. they would have did like a Wii song. Because, um, you know, they would have been a perfect combo. And I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, why Snoop and Bone never did this on together? That's crazy. You saw it right. That's crazy. I'm like, that's never, that's crazy. That's never happened because they're both big in that same time mm -hmm. frame. Oh, but maybe. Because the Easy, beef. easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's over now. I don't know. It's too late, you think? I don't know. I feel like they no, probably still, still do. Yeah. Uh, and I knew JC was gonna hate this track because he hates Bone. He gave him like a two or three on the classic album that they had. Two tracks off the whole album? So you gave it a one? What'd you give it? Lower than Brett. Get the fuck out of here! You gave it back a four. So you gave them what? <laughs> the grand total of three. What? Oh, come on, man. You just went. <laughs> and it was probably too fast for them. For them. <clears throat> um, all of a sudden. It was cool. I like the song. It was, it's, it was smooth. It's one of those tracks that I like. Just a nice song to ride to. It was cool. Yeah, it was okay. It was a singing song. Um, <clears throat> got two more songs to go, guys. Uh, that, that, that's always good. Um, homework. It was all right. Yeah, it was, it was okay. <laughs> he said Moonlight hit up Santa to tell him the girl was talk he was talking to was naughty. What? I don't know, bro. Really? Like that was like <coughs> one of his lines that he used. He's calling he was calling Santa to tell him the girl was naughty. <laughs> what kind of shit is it? Were you high? What the fuck was that? This shit is crazy, man. Um, <coughs> I thought the verse was cool though. I like the hook. He sang too. But he said, he said, every time I shoot, I'm like the Rosen. It goes in. You gotta be from Toronto to to ever. He does have a jumper, bro. <laughs> he's a dunker, like he's. He, you don't remember he went to the playoffs and went over like sixty, like <laughs> like come on, man. You gotta be from Toronto to shout out his jump shot. You could have said Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, anybody else. Um, Cause you, every time he's shooting your shot, bro, you're missing. <laughs> he's, shooting, he's missing sixty percent of the shots. Um, but it rhymes though, so he sounds like he's from Toronto too. He kind of sound like Drake, The Weeknd, Party Next Door, and Wiz versus Life. All right, last song of the album. We throwing it in the in the bag or what, man? I might jump in the fucking bag. Cause this shit is crazy. Twenty fifth song. 25th hour. Swirl bad shaking. <laughs> he ready to eat. <laughs> Something new. Man, my boy Ty was on this song. 
Y'all already know how I am about Ty Dolla Sign. That's my dog. But man, they failed on this song. This was this was not the tie that I know. <laughs> it's the weirdest that I know, but it's not the tie that I know, man. I was disappointed. I hate to say that about my boy, man. And then you admitted it. Yeah, it was okay. The hook was okay. Ty usually do real good hooks, like we all know. Yeah. And this was just okay. Uh, Wiz verse was light. It just felt forced, man. I don't know. He just had to put him on the album. Man. It's crazy. Um, the whole song was light, except for the beat. But it, I didn't like how it had uh, little computer love in, in the beat. For Mrs. Society, you know, when he was on the way in the rims, he's riding in his new car. Yeah. After Kendrick's thing, you wouldn't. I, I noticed you didn't really get into that too much. So I just like I don't know. It, it just wasn't real to me. It's like I, I saw him after that, and it was just like love. So it's like was that real or was that just like for the people? You know what no, I mean? I like, think it's a sparring kind of sport. Yeah, but you know, at the that. same time, it's like you know, then let it be real. Then you know, I mean, because those were harsh words, right? So it's like. Don't just you can't just say that and then see me and be like, yeah, man, what's up? Pretending like nothing ever happened. Like, that's not real. That's not to me. That's not like so the nature of battling. I mean, there's passion behind it. There's anger behind it, you know, and I personally enjoy making like great music and bodies of work over like being the talk of Twitter for like five days, you know. Over, but you like, seem just now a little irritated by it. No. Really? Yeah, just by even saying that it was those harsh words, it seemed like maybe it irritated you for a second. Is that wrong? No, nah, it's just like I mean, get your weak ass up out here. K Dot, King Kunta, Wakanda Forever, Greatest Rapper Alive. He killed your favorite rapper on "Please Don't Kill My Vibe" remix. <laughs> Are we gonna get to that? Oh man! All right, uh, K Dot. First album, official album, because you had the album for that. Is it a classic now? Was it a classic then? Was it ever a classic? Would it stay a classic forever? Like every album he ever came out with? Good Kid, Mad City, K-Dot. <laughs> 